Hello and welcome back to my Chanel Shade. Shade Loso here. I make videos about fashion and things that do not concern me. If you're into things like that, please go ahead and subscribe, like, share, comment, and all that good stuff. So today's video, as you can see by the title, I am going to show you guys what I've accumulated over the past, I would say, three months. Um, we are, this is the, today is February the 5th, I believe, 5th um and i'm going to go all the way back to november so things that i've been picking up this year um i'm just gonna be so more oh I, i've always been quite intentional in the past like couple of years but i said this year and like as i i'm in my 30s now i just want to be so intentional with everything i buy like like to the t if i cannot see myself wearing this multiple times if it's a trend, like I've said this before in my previous videos, if it's a trend, like even if, even if I do want to buy it, like is the quality worth it? Does it work with my coins? Like all that kind of stuff. So I've bought, I've been buying stuff um, in the past couple of months and I want to share with you guys. You Some things you have seen, um, but yeah, I just want to do like a, 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 a haul of accumulation, if that makes sense. So let's get into it. First on the haul, you guys have, must have seen this already. This, these are a pair of heels that I got in Vista Village, and I got them at a dumb price. I got them for two fifty. There are these Saint Laurent oh heels, guys. Ah. Jesus is Lord. Look how stunning these. These are giving me. I can never pronounce it. Scrap it, belly. Scrap oh, You know what I mean? Um, vibes. They are stunning. And yeah, these were literally in my size of 41. I could have got a 42, but this was the literally this was only the only size left, and I was like, I'm taking them. I don't care if my feet are gonna like squirm. But look how stunning they are. They are honestly to die. I would also like put a picture up here so you can see them like taken or like off the website. But oh, I haven't worn them yet. Um, but I love them. I love them so much. Love them so much. <laughs> like if you saw the way me and my friend had gone to Pisa Village that day and if you saw the way we were like 250 like are you mad like i'm mad and they're sold out everywhere they have a blue one they have a blue pair that i saw on browns for one two or one three i was like no but yeah so that's number one let's move on quickly we're gonna do this like cool, not quick but you know we're gonna stay on the topic of shoes let's, let's do shoes first i have one pair of shoes that oh my boyfriend my man my man my man i have to say my man he literally Anyway, we're gonna get to that. But next pair of shoes, I got these. These are, oh, I don't know if, let me do like a real, like a real, um, what do you call it? <laughs> yeah, there we go, they're focusing. So these trainers are from Represent. And I was telling my boyfriend that I really wanted a pair of trainers, but I didn't want, um, Sambas, well, I'm still gonna get Sambas now because we tried them on the other day and I was like, I really like them. But I don't want Sambas. I have like dad trainers. I have like new, new balances and stuff, but I don't really wear them. But I want something that is like fun. But I don't want to spend like five, 600 pounds because I'm just not doing that. So my boyfriend has literally like three pairs of these and I just love them. They're like really like skaterish. They're really like, I feel like in the market, you have Louis Vuitton, you have Lavant as well and um, who have this silhouette going on right now which is like the wide skater you know the proper rubber skater like trainer um and i wanted that but i just didn't basically i didn't know what i wanted chat and my boyfriend got me this shoe and i really like them they're like super fun they look just like the lavins but they're a fraction of the proper well, fraction these i don't know i think these are about like 250 or something like that but i really really like these and i can't wait for the weather in summer i tried them on with something else i'm going to show you and I just thought they were just like sick. Like, especially these with like some jorts and a tank top, loads of jewelry in summer, going like, I don't know, for a drink or shopping or something like that. Just, it would just be so, so cool. So that's number two. And then we have these boots I got from, um, what do you call it, Zara. I don't know if, <laughs> if you saw my TikTok guys, where I was trying on these shoes, these boots from, um, 
Paris, Texas, and it did go up my car. Like I think I was talking about it so much because it really hurt my feelings. It broke my heart. Um, so I wanted another pair of knee-high boots, so I just got these, um, and they are from Zara. I don't know if they're still available, but I'll link them below. They are, I've got a picture up actually of how I styled them. I literally wore this hoodie, um, and I wore jorts and these boots, just like a basic style, but I loved it. Um, one thing I love, love about these boots is that the roundness in the front reminds me of the Dress Van Noten. I said it right this time. Um, boots, um, I love that brand. Um, they have more of like a wider, a wider um, front, but this really reminded me of that. And I just loved the heel of the boot as well. It wasn't um, a typical square, it's more like a circular and it's thick as well so yeah these are these are definitely sexy boots i love them so much and they fit on my calf perfectly i have no problem paris texas side eye putting them on so we're gonna move on to the, some a pair of uh, english we're gonna move on to a new pair of shoes that i got these are my valentine's day this is my valentine's day gift um i know i wanted them but then when I tried them on in the store, so we went to try them on in the store to make sure that I really wanted them. And when we got there, the pair that I tried on had a stain. I'll put a picture of me trying them on. Had a stain and I was like, no. So the guy was like, he's gonna order them for me, blah, 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 blah. Um, so then literally my boyfriend the other day was like, oh, I totally forgot, he was like, oh, let's order your Valentine's Day gift. So I went online, the shoe was sold out. Did I not have a heart attack? Did I not have a heart attack? I was like, sorry? And I have big feet, I'm a size, I'm a US, US, I'm a UK eight slash nine, like 41, 42. Yeah, 40 depending if I'm pushing it, but 41, 42. So my, my shoe gets up, my shoe size gets sold out very easily. And I always tell my boyfriend, if you see my size, just buy it. Because let me buy it, see if I like, if I don't like it, I can return it. But if you know I like something and you see my size, buy it because my size goes out really quickly. Anyway, um, actually, let me get the shoe quickly. Um, so yeah, so I missed the essay and I was like, oh, the, the shoe that I bought, like, cause he was meant to order it for me, but he said, for some reason, they were just taking long from Italy or blah, 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 blah. Shasha, the lady on the chat said to me, there's one left in Sloan Street in a, in a, cause I tried on a 10.5, but I was like, I know a 10 will fit. Um, yeah, so I know a 10 will fit. Either a 10.5 or a 10 would work. So I literally called her in the morning and I was like, hi, I need these shoes. She was like, yeah, let me see if you have them. She was like, we have one left in store. She said, this is, the, this is the only pair, like, this is the only pair left in the whole of the world. Oh. Ah! Look how gorgeous this, like, fucking bad like guys guys like uh, uh. like i've seen some girls world my soul former toronto has them and she always looks bad of course um i know laurie harvey wore this for the actual runaway show when they when they first came out who else have i seen in um um who else i've seen i saw um mackenzie um this girl mackenzie something um this girl anyway she i saw her wear them as well and i was just like i need these like i always knew i wanted them but then i think who, who made me what, i don't know what made me want them even more i think i don't know shasha i have them and i'm so happy so this is my valentine's day present um so yeah they, they came early and i'm just so happy i can't complain they are just fabulous they are super super pointy super super pointy he says like a four inch i don't know what inch it is um and yeah i'm just so happy that i got the last pair in a 10 it fits perfectly and guys oh, my man sorry i my man my man thank you to my man honey thank you valentine so that's my valentine's day present so we're done with the shoes that's it for shoes that's something i've got recently in terms of shoe oh i got uggs for christmas so that's part of my 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 man part of my christmas present he got me i said i really wanted those taz uggs yeah those taz open ones let me get them and i have some like cons about them 
So these are the Tazis, right? So my thing about these bad boys is I don't think they're as comfortable to walk in. I feel like they're a bit heavy. Like, so I wore them to the station um, and the station's about a 10 to 15 minute walk. I can walk in 10 minutes roughly, but the 10 to 15 minutes walk. And I felt like I had to drag my feet. And then when I wore it in the car, when I, um, when I wore it in the car, I realized that I didn't really feel the effect of them because I was driving and my walking distances weren't very long. But they are, I don't feel like they're the most comfortable shoes to walk in all day because I feel like this, the platform part makes it really heavy. Um, but I like them, I do like them. They're great for like running around, like if I'm just running errands, I'm in a taxi. Um, like cute, like I wore these with like flare leggings. Um, I have a gilet and like a turtleneck. It's just like cute kind of kind of vibe. Um, I love it. I love when I see girls with like leggings, thick socks, and these. I just love that style. I don't know what what, what style it is, but I love it. And a lot of people don't really like the tazes, but I'm like, you guys are no fashion. You don't know style. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all for shoes. That's what I've in my wardrobe so far. Um, I know I'm gonna get the sambas. Um, I tried them on years, two days ago, and I loved them. I was like, oh, to be honest, I was thinking of getting the Mason Margiela replicas. If you don't know what they are, I'm gonna put them up here. Cause it's the same, it's a, literally the same silhouette. But then I was like, mm, do I wanna spend 500 pounds? Do you want, mm, on a shoe? I mean, I do like them and they're forever. they've been out for years, like over 10 years, they're a classic. Or I can get the same silhouette for hundred pounds and Adidas is nice. So that was literally my, thinking process but I'm gonna get the Adidas um, I'm gonna wear them this summer I'm gonna look so cute this summer I'm gonna make such an effort so next let's get into clothes topic of clothes so first of all I got this hoodie from Entire Studios I am low-key obsessed with that brand right now ever since I got my huge puffer coat from them I realized the quality is top-notch a lot of their stuff are timeless well, if you pick certain things, timeless, easy to wear. I love black. A lot of my clothes are black or really dark and they really work with my wardrobe. So I got this hoodie um, and it's like a, I'm gonna like be doing a little thing over here so you can like see me. Um, it's just like a oversized hoodie. It has really, really, really long sleeves. One of my favorite features is, oh, don't get caught. Erin, don't get caught. Yeah, just to, is this hoodie i just have i love how long it is and i love like it's just and what i can really do with this hoodie as well is that i can do it like that so if i don't want you to like talk to me oh i love it love it love it oh let's not get makeup on it but yeah so this was one of the things i got just to have because i just needed a hoodie and then i also got this top from entire studios so i got this um off shoulder, I don't know. So this is how it looks like on the model. Um, and I haven't really figured out how to wear it, I'm not gonna lie. But I was thinking of putting a belt on it because I saw that they put a belt on it. And I, I really like that, I really like they put a belt on it. So it's just like a, it's a long sleeve, long top. It's a bit strange and you can like gather it, you can put a belt on it, you can put it off shoulder. There's so many ways you can wear it. And yeah, I really liked it. I feel like Entire Studios gives me like Rick Owens um, features. I don't know if that makes sense. There's, there's certain things that they do and I'm just like, this gives me such Rick Owens vibes, but like literally a fraction of the price. So yeah, I really like this top. I think it's great. I haven't worn it yet, but I think I am, I am going to get a thick belt. If you watch my video, I spoke about um, understanding my body type and I realized waist belts really work nice with me so I'm gonna invest myself in some belts so yeah so this is something that I got on the topic of entire studios because clearly I have shares in entire studios um my boyfriend <laughs> my boyfriend got me this bummer jacket from entire studios for Christmas as well and I love this bomber jacket so it was actually between this bomber jacket and this Frankie shop bomber jacket the Frankie shop bomber jacket has more um, shoulder padding on it. And I was like, hmm, that would be really nice. But then the days that I don't want shoulder pads, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna wear it. So I was like, mm, no. So I got this and I'm so happy I went for the entire studios one. It's just perfect. It's just a perfect, honestly, it's just a perfect jacket. It's great for la layering. The other day I wore like a blazer underneath it, my black snood, sunglasses, leggings and boots. And I just was like, 
I look so cool. <laughs> and I was also thinking to myself that if I really wanted to, I could get removable shoulder pads in them if I really wanted to. Um, but for now, I think I'm okay with it just looking the way it looks. And yeah, so that's my entire studio's little haul. <laughs> love them love them they do have some they do have a few things right now they have like um what do you call it they have like these jeans that remind me of their tico jeans oh i'm gonna shoot that got that as well guys um and what else do they have they have a few bits they have a few bits um but yeah on the topic of clothes still i got this balloon skirt you can see it I'm gonna show you who I, who I saw wore it. So this is like a fashion icon. If you don't know, if you don't follow her, go and follow her. And I'm Miss Stephanie Applebaum, I think. And she has the, one of the best styles on, the, on this planet, in my opinion, okay? Um, I saw her with a skirt and I just loved how she wore it. I, can, I know exactly what she wore with her. I was like, if you see me in the same outfit, don't say anything. She wore it with this cute Jackie Muse puff top. Then she now wore a tweed Chanel um, waistcoat on top of it. Oh, and then she then wore these those Balenciaga, I don't know what they're called, those Balenciaga boots. And I was like, <sighs> love, love, love. So when I saw it, I was like, I am going to not necessarily make the outfit, but you have inspired me. So when I got this skirt, when I saw that skirt, I was like, I would love to wear this skirt with just a normal corset, like, um, you know, uh, like a House of CB corset, the ones with the little V thing. Um, and then what shoes? I was like, I most probably wear, I'm gonna wear it with high, high heels because I don't really have anything. And yeah, or like sandals, I don't know. But I was like the corset top and this, would look so cute and then banging makeup nice nice jewelry all of that kind of stuff but yeah and i love balloon stuff because it really works well for my body type so it was like perfect so oh thank you stephanie for posting that next we have this skirt let me tell you the story about this skirt this skirt from rick owens oh guys to die i'm gonna show you on the model oh guys so when i first saw this skirt i saw it on i think Still Monroe, I think that's her name. She's a YouTuber. And she had it in red, right? And I was like, I need this skirt. Like, I need this skirt. Like, I I need. One thing I love about this skirt the most is that it comes so high-waisted and it like snugs you in. So I saw it on her in red and I was like, I need this skirt. The price obviously slapped my face, like slapped back back. I was like, ah, not today. And then I was like, red would be great. And I, and I saw the black one and I was like, oh, Black, I wear a lot of black. Red is my favorite color, by the way, but I was like, black is always great to have because it's just a standard color, you know? So I saw it and I remember I saw it for like, I remember, how, well, it was like maybe six, 700 or something like that. I was like, oh my God, guys. I saw it go down to three, I paid 300 for this basically. And I thought that was a steal. I thought that was a steal. I was like, girl, I need that skirt. And I just love it. I just think it's great. I, I literally just loved how they styled it on Netta Porter. It was just a black long, long sleeve top, heels. Like, it's just a nice skirt. It's maxi. It has a slit at the back. Oh, like, it's just too good. In my opinion, it was just too good. So I had to snatch it. I haven't worn it yet. It's just gonna sit in my wardrobe until I find somewhere to wear it with. And by the way, it's like a denim. It's like a denim, it's like a coated denim with, with like stretch and it like hugs you. Amazing. I still want the red one though. And my eyes are still on the red one. Um, as long as I find out a good price, a good price and um, in my size, yeah. So next, we have two of my favorite items right now in my wardrobe, like I'm just so happy. <laughs> so you might have seen this in my last video. <laughs> this is, oh, please, please, please behave yourself, behave yourself. This is the Atiko um, Verona cardigan. This cardigan, like, when it came out, right, like it had, this cardigan has had me on a chokehold ever since it came out. When it came out, my mother was like this. I was like this. It was a thousand pounds. I was like, a thousand who? A thousand what? I said, don't play with, don't be silly. How can you be silly like that? Can I do? I said, no, I said, I can't pay, I can't, I cannot pay a thousand pounds for this. But I just kept like, 
Do you know when you just like, I will search this item, like this and there's another item, right? I will search these two items constantly, like looking, checking, like checking if my size will be still there, if the price has gone down. So then a couple of weeks ago, I literally was like, just like, oh, I really want this, I really want this, I really want this. And then I just, I went a far fetch and I saw it for half price. I said, half who? Give it to me. I just, I said, you know what, yeah, let me order it, right? And I got a size smaller than I would normally get. So I would normally get a 12 and I got a 10. I was like, it's a 10, I was like, last life doesn't fit. At least I know I tried it on. When it came, it fit perfectly. Cause it's, it's like knit, so it stretches a little bit. And I just couldn't be happier. Ah! Oh, guys, I cannot. I haven't like styled or anything. I haven't like really wore it. To be honest, I don't really go anywhere. That's the honest truth. <laughs> I don't go much places, um, but I'm looking forward to wearing this. I don't know where I'm gonna wear it, but I just love it so much. All the like baddies have it. <laughs> I'm like baddies. All the like fashion girls have it. Um, I saw. Um, I almost forgot her name, Caroline, is it Caroline? Um, she's from, from New York. She, I, I saw her, no, she gave me, she made, she pushed me to buy it because looking at, looking at, looking at it and I saw her with the candy one. The candy one is like um, blue and yellow and a bit of white. And I saw her in a video and I was like, nah, I need to buy it. Like, I have to buy this card again. Are you dumb? So I just, that's, that, that's what gave me the green light to buy it because I just love her fashion. And then she made another video and then I saw that she has it in both colours. I was like, yes, if I could get two both colours, I would. And I wish they had it in like a, this might be annoying, or like a, like a, like a baby pink. Oh, oh, I would die. I would die. That'd be so cute. But yeah, so I got this and I'm so happy and it's sold out everywhere. You can get the candy one maybe in like a, in the small size, I think. I think Farfetch has it. It's essentially sold out and I'm not complaining. So yeah, so this was um, something that I was searching my life on. And the other item was also the Adico. And it is the Adico jeans, the Fern Cargos. Again, when these came out, these came out about two years ago. We're in 2024. I think they came out ending 2022, yeah. I think 2022, I think it came out. And I remember I was like, a thousand pounds for a jean. I was like, a thousand pounds for jean. <laughs> You're like, God, what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. I think God and F in the same picture. I was like, this can't be real. This can't be real. And I really wanted them. I remember I, 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 I've always been to cargoes. I remember I bought these pair of cargoes from this brand, I forgot what brand it is, but you can get these cargoes from like these military websites, right? And I bought them and I wore them and stuff, but do you know when this wasn't giving you the oomph that you wanted? Like, I feel like sometimes, like not all the time, but most of the time you're paying for what you get. And obviously I paid maybe like a hundred pounds for those. And they were fine, but they weren't what I wanted. So when I saw these, I was like, I really, really want these. And the ones that I actually really want as well, they have the, um, the like, the, the like um, army print ones. That's the one, my eyes on that one, but I haven't seen that one on sale yet. Shasha, this one I saw it on sale. They're just the it's just the black pair, and um, these I got these for half price. So in my head I was like, girl man, I got it for free. I'm joking, I get it for free. But I got the top and the bottom for the price of one essentially because the top of the thousand pounds is sent for, and this was a thousand pounds. So essentially I saved a lot of money. <laughs> Right? In my head anyway. I'm I I I couldn't I couldn't be happier. I'll tell you that. I couldn't be happier. We thank the Lord. We thank the Lord. So that's a wrap for my haul. Um that was fun. I really enjoyed doing that. Um I think that's what I'm gonna start doing. Like once I accumulate a bunch of stuff, then I'll do a haul rather than, um, or if I'm doing like a vlog, then I can like show you and whatnot. But that's what I've accumulated in the past couple of months. I'm sure there's like a few more things, but I can't really like put my finger on them right now. Um, yeah, I can't really think. And yeah, just like, I'm just gonna be so intentional. As I said before, it's the best thing. You save your money. Um, you, yeah, like I literally ordered a skirt from Week Day the other day. The old me will be like, oh, it's nice. Let me just keep it. I'm sending that back because I'm like, I don't, I like it, but I'm not in love with it. And that's the thing. If I don't, if I'm not in love with the item, then I'm sending it back. There's no mediocre here. I have to be like, oh, gagged. 
You get it? Yeah. So that's a wrap. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you loved, liked, enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know what to do. You know what to do. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Send it to your mom, your dad, your friends, and everybody. And I will see you guys in my next video.